What's up, everybody out there in Heroclix land? This is Scott Porter, and I am here today extremely excited because today marks the first ever officially licensed WizKids unboxing video. That's right, we got a new set called Deadpool. It comes out on May the 14th, and I was lucky enough to have WizKids actually contact me and say, hey, we want to send you a couple of bricks and share with the fans what we've got going on. So, here we go. A whole case of Deadpool. Now I'm just going to open one brick today, and I know that we've seen a couple of figures already previewed online at HC Realms and other places around the net, but we are going to see a whole brick's worth of figures here. We might find out what the chase figures are in this set. We might figure out what team bases are going to start being built from this set. We might see some switch clicks. We might see some, some new tactics in this one, including the word balloons, which I know they previewed. So. I know you're sick of hearing me blab on and on and on. Let's just get to it. Be careful with the merchandise. This is a very delicate matter, guys. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we got. I know some of you guys might be wondering. I got all this HeroClix memorabilia up around the back of me here. But I do have a Magneto zombie bust up on the wall. That's because... Well, in this set, it looks like we've got a bunch of villain Marvel zombies. See a little Red Skull there, a little Green Goblin, Juggernaut, Magneto, Sabretooth, the Rhino, Venom. All zombified, all in this set, apparently. I don't know. Let's see what else we got on the box art here. Of course, your favorite Merc with the mouth. It's one of those word bubbles that we were talking about. And it looks like we got the new Thunderbolts from Marvel now with Red Hulk and Venom, everyone else on the cover. A little Elektra action. Hopefully we get another close combat Elektra monster like we had in a couple of the sets. Get a shot of the side here. A little uh, Heroes for Hire. Look at that, this is looking pretty. I'm excited, I hope you guys are too. Let's start opening boosters. Woo. This is, this is my favorite part of playing Heroclix, by the way, is opening. It's like Christmas morning every time you break into a new brick, every time you open a booster. It really is. It's like, it's like a holiday for me. It's like a birthday or Easter morning. You just found the Easter basket. What kind of wonders could be inside? <sighs> okay, we'll go one at a time. I always like to start in the corners. I don't know what you guys like to do. I like to start in the back right, so that's where we're going to start today. Oh, I like this. I didn't see that. You rip this box, I'll rip your face. Deadpool doing his thing. <sighs> All right. Right out the gate. Looks like we've got Shroud in there. We've got Agent Zero. We've got Silver Sable. We've got Colleen Wing, one of those new heroes for hire. And we've got new hand ninjas, it looks like. Next time, just give me your money. I was wondering how far they were gonna go with Deadpool like breaking the fourth wall, that whole type of thing, but I mean, if you're gonna do a Deadpool set, you gotta go all the way with it, right? Ha ha ha! Look at that. A little super rare right in the second booster there. This is pretty damn cool. Peter Parker is actually, spoilers folks, Peter Parker is actually in the head of Dr. Octopus, who has taken over the body of Spider-Man. So we've got the ethereal kind of Peter Parker standing there, and then Superior Spider-Man on the front, along with one of the little spider bots. That's pretty damn impressive. Let's see what else we had in this one. Oh, yes. Here we go. We've got dog pool ticks. I'm going to lick your hand. Now, I was going to wait until the end to kind of try and figure out what these things did, but... You know what, we're going to have to pop this card open immediately and see what I'm going to lick your hand actually does. <laughs> I'm going to lick your hand. This character adds one to its breakaway rolls and ignores other characters' plasticity. I think it's going to be a really interesting element uh, to add to the game. Uh, it's really pretty exciting for me. So hell, that was, a, that was a pretty damn good booster. A word bubble and a super rare all in the same. We also got Hammerhead, another Silver Sable, and a Black Cat in there. We'll circle back around in the second half of the video and kind of take a look at what some of the special powers and everything that these people have 
And it's looking like we've got a chase, folks. And, wait, hold on. Not only does it look like we have a chase, it looks like he could be a part of a team base. I don't know if you guys just saw that. He snapped off a lot like the team bases work. Let's take a good look at, at Venom here at the Zombie Venom. He's got a hole right through the middle of him. Oh, nasty. So pretty. <laughs> but hold the... Hold the phone, folks. It's looking like we might get a team base out of that. We've also got a uh, Weapon X Scientist. We've got Misty Knight, Vamp, and Constrictor. You know, we've needed a good new Frank Schlichting for a long time. Hopefully this will be the one. We'll definitely have to come back around. He's got a, he's got a special power, right? And he's also got Sharpshooter, so it looks like he's got some upgrades. He's still packing that old Masters of Evil. Hopefully he's actually a playable Constrictor this time. Woo! So now we've seen a couple of the subsets. We've seen Heroes for Hire. Haven't, haven't really seen the new Thunderbolts yet. Oh yeah. Looking like I got another super rare in here, sitting in the second slot. And then we've got Deadpool himself. Let's pull the man himself out. Now, it's looking like Deadpool also has a team base click here. And that's because Deadpool, and also Cable from this set, are gonna be able to be used on the uh, X-Men team base from the Avengers vs. X-Men uh, event that we just had. So they'll give different abilities, apparently, to the X-Men team base, but they'll be able to be used on it, which is pretty cool. Let's see what the word bubble we got here is. Fourth wall? What fourth wall? Since he's the man, I'll take Deadpool out too. We'll leave him sitting here. I got a super rare in this pack. It's looking like it's Banshee which I didn't expect. I don't know if you guys were. He looks great. Sonic Scream coming out there. Definitely a super rare. He's got PD and X-Men team abilities, which is kind of cool. Gives you a little bump in the ranged action. Also has the X-Men team ability. Looks like he's got Psychic Blast in there. Woo! Super Senses with an 18D. I like it. So we've also got Humbug. We've got an Ultimatum Soldier and, and another Dog Pool. So we've got a couple dupes, not too many. I'm all nervous, I'm all shaking. This is, this is exciting for me. Pack number five, another super rare. This time it's Cable, Deadpool's old buddy. Again, has a separation from the base itself because he can go on that team base, that X-Men team base, give them some different powers. I like how the KO sign in this set is Deadpool's insignia. It's awesome. It's got almost a whole silver front dial with a special power in there. We'll come back around to Cable and see what he does. And here we've also got Weapon X, we've got Weasel, we've got Flag Smasher, which I know that we've all seen. Uh, he was one of the ones that was previewed. And then we've got another Ultimatum Soldier in the back. And you know what? Since Cable's card is right on the front, we'll just take a look at that white power body slide. That's just in his movement slot. It's looked like he might have a white power on every single one of his slots at some point during his dial. He's got Technopath at the bottom there. Now again, the set comes out May 14th, so we're getting a, a pretty good lead time here on all these figures. Oh, here we go. Some of those new Thunderbolt action. Looking like we've got Red Hulk sitting here. We've also in this pack got Daredevil, got Anaconda, new little Serpent Society remake. That's nice. Didn't expect that. Weasel, Flag Smasher, and the Red Hulk. Looks like a beast like he should be. Only at 150 points, though. So definitely able to be fit on a team. Pop him down here. All right. We've only got four more left. And then we'll talk about some of the mechanics and we'll get into some of the special powers here. Oh, here we go. Outlaws in the set. She's making her Heroclix debut. Now, if you're a fan of Deadpool and Agent X, you've seen a lot of her. I think she's a pretty damn cool character. A little shout out to another Heroclix fan. Also somebody who wrote a little bit of Deadpool Agent X action at Once Upon a Time. A little shout out to Gail Simone. How you doing out there, Gail? Hope you're watching this. Let's see what else we got in here. <clears throat> We've got Black Talon. We've got Lady Bullseye. Also making her Heroclix debut. So is Black Talon. And then, interesting, got a little 
a little piece in here. Something to go with our superior Spider-Man. Got a Spider-Bot, Mark One. But instead of just being a bystander token, it's got its own singular base, which is really pretty cool. Only three left. Man, I burned through these. I don't usually open them this fast. I used to, I usually like to let the joy linger a little bit longer, but I'm too excited today. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Got three word bubbles in one <laughs> booster pack. We've got Headpool. Here, I'll flip it around this way. Let's see, we've got, got Lady Deadpool. My common sense is tingling is the word bubble on that. <laughs> we've got Black Cat. We've got Kid Pool. Broccoli. Why can't it be meat? <laughs> we've got a Secret Empire agent. And then we've got Head Pool. And Head Pools just simply says Noogie. This is awesome. This set, uh, it's gonna be so fun to play. We'll come back around. I'll definitely take a further look at this pack to see what all of their word bubbles do because uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's one of the more interesting game mechanics that's coming along with Deadpool. Uh, they're kind of like feats. They allow you to do certain things within the game, but you can attach them to certain characters. So we'll definitely come back around. We'll read a little bit more about what all those word bubbles do. And I think, I don't know, we might have maybe one more super rare or a prime. We haven't seen either of those yet. I can tell you that there are gonna be four primes in this set. There's gonna be a common, an uncommon, a rare, and a super rare prime. There's gonna be a prime on each level, which, whew, it's gonna be tough for collectors out there in this set. Because <laughs> I know we're gonna want them all. Got a little Black Tom Cassidy. I didn't expect that at all. I didn't expect Black Tom and Banshee to be in this set. Uh, he looks pretty cool. And then we've got another one of these spider bots. Now it's the Mark II, 10 points. The other one's worth 10 points. So again, not a bystander card or just printed on the back of a character card. These actually have their own dial bases. This one's got plasticity. And you can see they've got the little atom sign so they're smaller than all the other characters. They can move around and hide behind some of the regular base characters. This is really interesting to me. Also gives them a little bit of a bonus and defense as well. Let's see who else we got in this real fast. We've got Animus. <laughs> we've got Daredevil. And we've got Hammerhead again. It's the last one. Hopefully we get a Prime in here. If we don't, well, we did pretty well. We got a chase. So let's see. All right, last pack. What do we got? No more super rares or primes, but we have the regular Venom. You can see right here, that new Thunderbolts Venom. We've got the Punisher, rocking that red and black. It's so popular with Deadpool and his gang. Looking pretty cool. We've got Paladin, which we haven't seen yet. Calling Wing and uh, Weapon X. I like Weapon X because... <laughs> His hand is actually blasting off from his body. <laughs> We've seen a lot of these kind of translucent energy pieces on these clicks before, but the fact that his hand is attached to the end of it is kind of cracking me up here. All right, so we've done the unboxing but we still have to do a little bit more of an in-depth look at some of the characters. So I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna pop all these guys out of their plastic and uh, set them up so we can get a better view of exactly who we're dealing with in this set. And maybe we'll take a look at some of the special powers. We'll take a look at some of the team abilities that we've got on here. And we'll, we'll see if we have any switch clicks or any other game elements that I might have missed when I was frantically opening everything. So I'll be back in just a second. We'll have the whole table set up. 